Hey guys, it's Anita here from Flower Folk Farm. I hope you're all doing really well. I'm just outside doing some work today and um, thought I would just uh, do a quick hive uh, check. I'm not opening the hive today. I'm just going over there just to have a quick look at them and, and just see what's happening in the uh, at the entrance of the hive. So um, thought you might like to come and have a look because in a previous video, I did have a few, uh, at the end of last season, had a few little issues with the hive um, at the end of autumn with wasp attacks. So they're all looking really good. And I just sort of thought I'd do a quick update, let you know how they're doing, how they're all looking coming into spring. And um, yeah, I, I just sort of thought, you know, there's a lot going on in the world right now. We're, we're still in the midst of another lockdown. I can't even remember what we're up to. I think it's like lockdown number seven or something like that. And it's pretty much starting to wear on everyone. I think we're all pretty over it. And, um, you know, you throw in there some other issues as well. And it's, it just gets too much. It's pretty, pretty hard at the moment. But um, anyway, I kind of hope that this video gives everyone a bit of a cheer up. You get to see some bees, get to see some beautiful sunshine and some sky. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you have a great day. I just want to wish everyone the best out there and hope you're all doing really well. Take care out there. They're looking really good. That's pretty good action happening there at the entrance of the hive. I'm really pleased with that. And it doesn't look like there's any signs of mimosa or anything bad. There are no wasps. Doesn't look like there's been any wasp action. Hey girls. So it's the 27th of August, um, so we're almost into spring officially, it's a beautiful sunny day. We'll go see the other hive. I really need to, really need to do something about that grass man, that's getting pretty bad. I mowed here, but I didn't get too close to the hive because <laughs> they get cranky. Okay, this is the newest hive. Hopefully they're not too angry. They're looking amazing. So what I did was there was a fair bit of long grass. As you can see, this is not ideal to have around your hives because it, it just keeps moisture too close to the hive and can create diseases. But just with all the wet weather we've had, um, I haven't been able to get out here and mow. What we did was we actually clipped around the entrance with um, some secateurs just when the bees were in at night. But you can see here, that's really amazing action at the front. Lots of pollen pants. And this hive is not even a year old, so. Yeah, so you can sort of see at the front there, there's really good action happening out of both hives. So. I'm really pleased about that. That's really good. It's the first really beautiful day we've had coming into spring. And the next step that I do is I take the silver tape off. That I usually just put that there for over winter just to stop any, I mean the bees usually fill any holes anyway, but I just put it there as a bit of an extra insulator. Oh man. I just had to turn the video off. Sorry, I got a bee stuck in my hair and she was going a bit crazy. And it also looks like, you know, any of the hive stress that I was sort of seeing towards the end of um, autumn last, uh, last season, which is why I had to put up the um, bit of wire that's there. I'll put a link to the video in, in the description of, of what happened, but we had some wasp attacks and the hive was a little bit susceptible to that. And so I've I've been able to take that wire off now and it's it's all pretty good. So yeah, I think they're doing pretty well. I'm happy. Oh, it's nice to have a happy ending instead of a disaster. Alright, bye!